Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Going to do a, a pretty exciting video for me today. Uh, today is day 55 of these ball python eggs. I know I feel like it came so quickly right after these were hatched, but um, yeah, this is my first clutch of ball python eggs um, ever. So I'm pretty excited about this. The pairing was, if you guys have watched my other videos, you know that this is a bumblebee male to a super pastel female. So hoping to get some, uh, well, pretty much anything in this clutch is going to be kind of cool because I should have, at the very least, all pastels. Um, and I'm hoping to get, um, of course, you know, pastels, more super pastels, uh, bumblebees, and even maybe killer bees, which is what I'm really hoping for because I'd like to have a female killer bee. But at the end of the day, as long as, uh, you know, all these eggs are good, um, it's my first clutch, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I did notice right here, these eggs, of course, these were kind of fused together. These three, if you saw the video where I took them away from the mother, you could see that they were all stuck together. So by day 55, you should be able to, um, should be able to pull them apart pretty easily. So I'm going to try this right now. Um, you don't want to do this early on in the, uh, process because, you know, if these eggs tear when they're, uh, freshly laid, that can be pretty bad news, but these are coming apart pretty, uh, pretty easily right here. And, uh, like I said, the likelihood that, um, even if they did tear right now, which I don't think they would, um, the likelihood that something would happen now this far along in, um, incubation is pretty low. Yeah, and they came apart pretty easily. But, like I said, if something happens at a, uh, at a younger time, well, right when they're freshly laid, then that could be pretty bad for your babies. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but I've put X's on these. Not to denote, um, you know, what side was up, but I candled them a little bit ago, so I was trying to put X's around the areas where I didn't see as many veins, and certainly not big veins, so, um, hopefully I don't nick any veins, but like I said, it really shouldn't be too much of an issue right now. So, yeah, without further ado... See if we can cut some eggs. Let's see if I can't uh, get it on film for you guys. And like I said, it's definitely my first time doing this, so bear with me. I'm sure I'll fumble a little bit. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I've watched my fair share of videos on YouTube, like most people probably have, when they are uh, cutting eggs. Bubbly. And, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right off the bat. I actually might have a killer bee. The snake is white with, uh... Pretty, um, nice stripes. It might be a bumblebee, actually. It might be a really clean bumblebee. So, that's kind of cool. Um, you could, if you watched my other video, you saw that I candled some of these, and you can see the pattern pretty easily um, in some of those eggs. But yeah, that is a white snake. Cool. So that's, at uh, very least, that's a bumblebee, if not a killer bee, so that's pretty cool. This one's moving around like crazy in the egg. Ooh. 
Moving its heads right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not, but uh, this looks like that's a bumblebee. <laughs> its heads right there near the top. Don't know how well you can see that, but you can see his snout right there. Uh, that looks to be a bumblebee. That's pretty cool. Definitely a bumblebee. If that's a bumblebee, that probably is a killer bee because I can see lots of yellow on that and I can't see any yellow on that one at all whatsoever. I could not see its head, so that definitely would be a little bit easier if I could. Ooh, this one's going to pop. Oh man, this one's like a little balloon, like a little water balloon. You guys can see this. So I'm taking my time. Like I said, I've never done this before, and I want to make sure I don't, uh, you know, injure anything. Hard to tell on that one. What that is. That actually that appears to be another killer bee. I could be wrong. It's upside down. I can see the bottom of its belly and its belly is really clear. Well, it's at least another bumblebee or killer bee. Wow. That one was kind of bloody. I think I missed on the uh guessing where that spot was. Wow, pretty cool. So I've got, I'm pretty sure that's a killer bee right there. And at least two bumblebees. Wow, this thing is just like a water balloon. It's so firm. Yikes. I don't know if I won't be able to get a sound to pinch this one at all. Interesting. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. See, I'm not going to be able to pinch this one at all. Had to get a razor. And here we have a pastel. Very clearly a pastel. It's pretty cool. Ooh, lots of blushing actually. You see that blushing right there? That might be... Nope, the blacks are very, very black. So I'm going to go with the pastel. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at this one. That one's head right near the top. That one appears to be a super pastel. Very, very light. Might be a pastel, but it's got a really white head. It's pretty cool. Okay, last one. Let's 
see what we got. This egg was kind of weird. It was kind of dimpled in right after it was laid. So we'll uh, see what I can see. Ooh, that one's bleeding a lot. Must have got me a big vein on that one. And that one, I can see it's back. Moving around a lot in there. Ah, uh, that appears to be... Appears to be... Ooh, a big vein. Appears to be a, uh, looks like another bumblebee. Not sure on that one, actually. I can't really tell. Ugh. Hard to get those eggs right without uh, getting the veins on them. But like I said, these guys are all looking pretty good. Today's day 55, almost 56, because it was laid really, really early in the morning on, uh, well, 55 days ago. So, yeah. 12 minute video there. It's me cutting my first section, uh, or first uh, ball python eggs. <laughs> like I said, the pairing was a uh, bumblebee times a super pesto. And I got at least what I believe to be a killer bee, a bumblebee, another killer bee perhaps, pesto, another pesto, potentially super pesto, and a potentially another bumblebee. So that's pretty cool. So I will uh, get this closed up. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll get you another update uh, at the end of this video. Keep watching. Bye.